있습니다. 7차 스탑이제 리그 8강의 디조. 이제 여기서 한 명이 올라가면 4강 엔트링 완성이 됩니다. 자, 하늘 소수와 구성 소수 대결입니다. 네오제에 대해서의 첫 번째 경기 시작합니다. 하늘, 하나, 둘, 셋. 스카이 파이팅! 라스트 프로더스! 아, 저거 에이스 라스트 프로더스? 아, no, he's not last Protoss, never mind. <laughs> not last Protoss! Second Protoss fighting! And bottom left of the other Protoss will be Sky! Looking so sexy in that jacket. And he will be facing the Hollywood Fishy King. Haya, who is not nearly cool enough to wear his jacket. See, this is the difference. See, this is the difference between Protoss and Terran. See that? That's what a Terran player looks like. You see Sky? Sky is what a Protoss player looks like. You see the difference? One is sexy, one is not sexy. I'll let you guess which is which. Anyway, we are on Jade for the first map. I believe it's the same map order as the last series. So we'll have uh, Jade, Electric Circuit, Wind and Cloud, and I believe last two are Fighting Spirit and Sniper Rage. Anyway, it's going to be a gateway scout here from Sky. And uh, I'm actually quite excited to cast a high level PVT here. Uh, the foreigner scene, of course, uh, the top level foreigners are all as well as dominated by Zerg and has a few Protosses and almost no Terrans. So it's been a while since I've seen a you know, nice, uh, nice PVT. So I'm quite excited for this. <coughs> Anyway, looks like uh, Sky's gonna get lucky and get the first scout off and harass the SEVs a little bit. But we shouldn't really be able to do too much here. And now an SEV go scout goes out, let's see if he goes in the right direction. Uh, even if he picks wrong, he will just immediately scout cross map since. Given how early the probe scout is, uh, Haya probably knows that uh, his opponent is in close positions. Looks like he's actually going to scout in the incorrect direction though. He's actually going cross map here, curiously enough. Uh, looks like, no, he was just checking the middle for proxies and now changing the direction to the top right. By the way, I realize this is lagging and unfortunately there's not really anything I can do about it. So, suck it up! Man up! Anyway. Oh, I wonder what's going on here. Whoa! It's actually going crazy. Anyway, so this if he now sees nothing at the top right, he's almost certainly going to go cross map. And see that Sky is in fact at the bottom left. Sky's actually playing very calmly, see? Look, he's not like spamming like crazy or anything. Good, it's good. And ooh, two gate ways. Actually, they're both already finished. People are saying it's 10-15 gate in the chat. I wasn't actually paying attention, but actually that is in fact what it looks like. And oh, the dragoon's actually blocking the ramp here. Very, very sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, he's got to make sure that the SCP doesn't get in. That SCP must not get in and see the two gateways. Oh, Sky, Sky, that's dirty, man. 10-15 gating the first game. Oh, ooh. I mean, I, I know you gotta show those Terrans what's up, but that's a little bit dirty. As long as he doesn't follow it up with a DT rush like a certain OSL winner, uh, that'll be fine. Hey, this is a decent map to do a 10-15 on. Uh, it is a reverse ramp. But... Obviously it would be best suited to like flat maps with no ramps at all. And oh no! Oh, is he proxying a robo? What was he proxying? Oh no! Oh no, he's proxying a robo! Oh, oh, Sky, dude. Dude. Dude, dude, dude. 
1015 into proxy reaver. He's also going to elevator his dragoons into the main base because there's like a, a lot of space on the top that the Terran can't see unless he's looking for it. Oh no. Look. So High has gone for an FD. Uh, and he's going to play it somewhat defensively. He's going to be a little bit careful here. Sky doing some good micro here with these uh, with these initial three dragoons. Just want to pick off as many units as possible. Jin doing a really good job here. And oh no, the five goons now come in and this is big trouble for High. He's going to lose his first siege tank. He's losing his first siege tank. A big mind hit on the dragoons, but but Sky might just win this game before the Reaper even comes out here. Haya did not expect this at all, but there's nothing he can do anymore. He's just gonna lay defensive mines. I don't even know if it's worth making a Reaper. He could actually just make an OBS from that proxy robo and win with dragoons, which would be hilarious. Or he could just try and do the fancy uh, micro trick thing, which it looks like he is trying to do. You can actually defuse mines without an OBS. Uh, with a little micro trick using dragoons. Oh, it looks like SCV is going to try one dragoon, so that's a nice little win there. Of course, SCVs are in fact the hard counter to dragoons, so you know, Terran's uh, Terran's still all right. And the mines are doing damage now. I don't actually see what tech he's on here. Okay, he has gone for the reaver anyway. I mean, whatever he gets, he'll win the game. Uh, Obs would be a little bit silly, even though, well. Slightly less silly given the circumstances, but still, uh, the reverb will just end things for sure. So, Haya, I mean, he's got to know that it's over. He does seem a little bit sad. Anyway, there's the elevator in. And. that. Hi doesn't seem to see it yet. We're probably GG now. Le GG! Come on! Kill him! Kill him, Sky! Finish the game, let's go to game 2. It's also like... Let's also fix the lag. Come on, Sonic, let's fix the lag. Oh! There's, there's the fish look, <laughs> the fishy king look, I should say. Uh, mouth breathing won't save you now, Haya. GG. And Sky takes game number one. So that was pretty easy. 10-15 into win the game before you can get your proxy reavers out. Pretty good.